Okay, my peeps, what's up? All right, so <clears throat> I ordered off of Walmart.com a sleeping bag um, that is supposed to be rated for, um, what did it say, like five degrees? So I ordered it because it was only like $27 for a sleeping bag. So, and I normally don't do this kind of unboxing crap, but I thought I would for this. Why not? I'm trying to give you guys as many videos as I possibly can. Because <clears throat> I know I had I was real stagnant for a while, so I'm trying not to get into the habit of letting weeks go by without any videos. I would like to at least like to post one video once a month. I mean I mean not once a month, sorry. Duh. Once a week. So anyway, here's the here's the sleeping bag. It comes in and like you saw I just opened it so I have no idea what this is gonna be like. So this is what it comes in. It's a black um what do you call these sacks? Compression sacks, I guess they're called. It's got one, two, three, four of these straps that can be tightened up on it. Okay, I'll show you the outside of this so you, in case you want to order it. Okay. So it's Everest, so it's not some, you know, um, great name brand or anything. At least I don't think Everest is. I have no idea. Um, anyway, it says 0 to 5 degrees temperature rating. Um, 56 ounce Microtech performance insulation. Durable polyester outer and liner, double layer offset quilt, full chest baffle, and draft tube. Whatever all that means. Uh, let's see on the back. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty much says the same thing, except you cannot remove this tag on the pregnancy of law. You know, kind of like the mattress tags. Okay, so it's in its own printer pressing sack. Great. I like that. The only thing I don't like about this compression sack is it doesn't have the one long strap that you can throw over your shoulder like a backpack. So that's just, you know, not as if I'm going to carry it like a backpack all the time, but it's just nice to be able to have it in its sack and grab it and toss it over your shoulder. Now I'm just going to loosen these um, side straps a little bit, just give me a little more wiggle room to pull this out. <clears throat> or rather dump it out maybe it would be easier. Ugh. It is in there tightly. I might even consider um if it's a good enough sleeping bag worth keeping, I might consider um uh getting a compression sack, one of the nicer compression sacks that do have that strap on the side from REI or somewhere, maybe, I don't know, or maybe I could sew one on, I don't know, we'll see, but I am struggling getting it out of this bad boy, so it is in there good, so I guess that's one good thing, the sack packs tight, huh, here we go, Whew. okay, so it looks just like in the picture, <clears throat> I'll take the phone and and show you it. <clears throat> So it looks like it's just exactly like in the picture. It's blue, unfortunately. Um, you guys know red is my favorite color. I don't know if I share that with you, but red is my favorite color. So it's definitely an adult size. Okay. This says Susi Sport, not Everest. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they stuck my bag, um, sleeping bag into some other sack. I don't know. All right. So it's got a nice long zipper. The zipper goes all the way to almost to the feet, which is nice. Okay, the sleeping bag I have now, I think the zipper stops about right here. So it's nice that the zipper goes all the way almost to the foot. Okay. All right, put the phone back. Okay. <clears throat> so it is a mummy bag, <clears throat> which, again, not my absolute favorite, but it does keep you warm. Okay, so it is that mummy quote unquote mummy type bag where when you pull this you know zip the little um toggle thing the, the hood of it gets much tighter 
Someone was telling me um, that their father was in the military and they had someone die in basic training because he was in a mummy, the military mummy sack, and had it closed up and it was really cold out and he apparently turned over in his sleep and suffocated to death. So, okay, so yeah. All right, so it's got this um, side pocket on the chest, which is nice. Um, you see that? It's just a small, it's big enough for a cell phone, which is good. You could always stick my cell phone in there at night. Because you never know if there's going to be an emergency. You want to be able to grab your phone quickly. Or I can put the key to my car in there. <clears throat> okay, and it's got this nice little um, Velcro with a nice big piece of Velcro. The, the sleeping bag I have now has this itty bitty little baby strip of Velcro, which keeps coming off and scratching me in my face. So this is a nice fat piece of Velcro there to cover up the zipper. All right, let's unzip in this bad boy. Let's see what we got. Like I said, the zipper goes almost to the foot, which is nice. Okay. So, it's very thick. It feels very, very thick. Um, so I do like that. Very, very thick. Okay, so inside here, I've got, let me show you, another... <clears throat> Let me show you. I've got another little, I've got this extra material here, this flap. And maybe this is what it was talking about, the chest thing. But it's got its own little tightening toggle. So I guess as you, once you get in it, you could tighten this up to be tight around your chest. So I guess no air gets down in there. And then you would tighten this toggle up to, to tighten up the hood part. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so it's just black inside. Um, I'm checking the side for pockets. There's no inside pocket. Uh, my other sleeping bag has a small inside pocket. But yeah, it's got like that um, boxy shape here at the foot. So it's not super tight. It doesn't seem like it would be super tight on your feet. But it feels really thick. It feels really nice to the touch. It feels very cushiony. Um, much thicker than the sleeping bag I have now, which I think I said in one video at some point that the sleeping bag I have now is the sleeping bag I bought when my son was very small, probably six years old, and he wanted to go camping, and I had really never been camping, so I had gone to Walmart and bought us, um, a tent and some sleeping bags and that so on and so forth but so yeah so that's how we ended up with those sleeping bags and it was it's not the greatest of sleeping bags for cold weather anyway it's fine for you know spring summer weather too hot for summer but it's 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 a good you know it was a good starter sleeping bag but now that I'm van dwelling um it's probably not gonna it's not gonna work for that type of lifestyle so anyway um so again it was $27 um, it's rated for zero to five degrees and the weather here in the DC Maryland Virginia area is really cold it's Valentine's Day hence the red and the pink today is Valentine's Day so February 14th 2016 and it's really cold it's um, it's supposed to warm up uh, today Sunday it's supposed to warm up like Wednesday Thursday back into 60s but right now, the nights are getting to, um, you know, like 7 and 8 degrees. So really super cold. Uh, and it's just weird cold front came through after we had the big snow. So 